Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and I'm so glad you're here. I'm really glad to be back. We did episode, we did three pounds episode one, Pearl Extravaganza, and you can see lots of pieces sold. There's some left that I'm gonna go over. And then there was the rest of the box that we opened that I hadn't priced yet. So I've been very busy researching and this is episode two to go over the prices of some of those incredible pieces. For those that are just joining me, we opened a box that was about three pounds. And to my great surprise, everything in the box was real pearls and sterling silver and coral. So that was three pounds, episode one, again called Pearl Extravaganza. If you want to go back and watch that one, I'll try to post a link in the description or somewhere. I'll have to figure that out, but I'll try to post the link maybe in the comments, huh? But I wanted to go over some of the pieces that I didn't get to price yet, and some of them that I did, and show you what's still available. Then we're going to go over that whole bunch that I didn't price at all. But first, I always forget to go over my jewelry, but I would like to. I am wearing sterling silver rings. This is like a double band. This is from my very sweet friend, Betty. And it's a pinky ring for me anyway. This one I got in a thrift store quite a while back. Um, had no idea what I was doing. I just liked it. But when I got home, it was sterling and a real pearl. So I love that. This, I think I unboxed it, you know, maybe in one of my earlier videos. And it is abalone. I love it. This one I got recently from another YouTuber, and I did show that in my friend mail video. Let's see, what else have I got? This is a vintage Bow Jewels, B-E-A-U Jewels, that I got at that thrift store haul that, oh my gosh, that was such a great haul where the lady just kept giving me boxes of clip-ons. This I got there. This I got maybe a week or two ago on eBay. I'm so in love with it. I believe it's a Labradite, sterling silver. And this one you guys might remember me unboxing. It is a vintage sterling and marcasite, right? Marcasite. There are some marcasites missing, but I don't care. So last week I went out and I had these two rings on and boy, I was getting all kinds of looks. It was really fun. Now let's see what have I got on my arms. I've got this sterling bracelet that I think I'm gonna offer for sale today. It's a dot and dash bracelet. I found it in a small lot that I opened the other day. Um, don't get mad that I didn't record the video. It really wasn't that big a deal. This is a Larimar bracelet that I got last week when I got this. And you've all seen my beadball bracelets However, this one is from my very sweet friend, Anne, and also Anne sent me a friend mailbox. This is one of the pieces that was in it, and I have about, I have a couple of friend mails that I still need to open on camera, so forgive me, because as most of you know, we had that electricity was out, and then we had some water in our place, so it's been really busy, but I can't wait to get to the friend mail. On this arm, I always am still wearing the same pearl bracelet, couple of um, charm bracelets. I just love how they all fall together. But I've been wearing the same for quite a while, and I thought you all might like to look at something different. So I may sell these two today. We'll see how things go, because that's a lot of stuff. So I might sell this one today, these two, the dot and dash, the Larimar I'm gonna hold on to for a little bit, so. And thank you, Anne, it's so beautiful. Okay, so that was really fun to go over what I'm wearing. I want to invite you to please subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see, I would love to have you as a subscriber, and also would be really tickled if you click the like button. That helps to support the channel. And don't forget to click the bell so you'll be notified when my next video comes out. And that way, if you love something, you can email me pretty quickly and maybe be the first one to ask for a piece of jewelry that you like. My son also said when you click the bell 
there'll be a drop down window and you want to click the word all that way you don't miss certain types of videos that I might post okay so thank you for that subscribe like ding ding also the way that you would purchase jewelry is to email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com now some, for some of us we've heard this so many times that we kind of blank it out but for those that are new, I need you to listen up a little bit because this is going to help you so much and it's going to help me. If I don't get the information I need, I might have to email you back and forth and we don't want to lose any time. So this is the four pieces of information that I need from you. The video name and episode number, timestamps of when your pieces show. You can get those by pausing your device and it's the timestamp on the left. A brief description of the pieces that you fell in love with and the prices that I gave okay so send that to me you can screenshot this if you'd like I know it's not the most perfect piece of paper but there's my smile thanking you very much for that information okay all right now we can get back to the jewelry and what we've got left which I'm happy to say isn't that much but I think they're worth going over okay so this is, they're all real pearls. This is the one that's a more peachy color. It looks like these three might have been worn together or bought together. They're all the same size. They're all the same, not exactly the same shape pearl, but they just really look like they might have come together. So I had priced these at, for the silver color, Baroque Real Pearl Stretch Bracelet excellent stretch. I had priced this on the last video for 15 and for the peach color, no the white color, also priced for 15, same size, stretch, excellent stretch um, elastic in there. It's a thicker older one. Uh, this I priced for 15 as well. And this one, for some reason, I priced at 10. I think I forgot what I priced the others at, but that's okay. So for this time, I would just like to price each one of these at $10. So let me know if you like those. It would be 10 for the silver, 10 for the white, 10 for the peach. Okay, so that's those. Next, we have this tricolor peach, white, and peacock pearl. These are more round shape. And this I had priced at 18. And I'm gonna leave it at 18 because it's really worth it. They're more rounded, they have the peacock pearls. Excellent stretch on it, really great shape. So let me know if you like that one. The next bracelet is, part of them are faux pearls and one strand has some real pearls. It's on a silver tone toggle clasp. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And let's see, I priced it at $10, yeah. It measured, um, seven and a half was like the middle measurement, so it could go to a seven, seven and a half, or an eight. So that's a lovely piece. And if it doesn't sell for 10, even though it has some real pearls with it, then I'll use it for the color jewelry bags. But let me know if you like that one for 10. Okay, now next are the real pearl earrings that have white pearls at the top. In the middle are a more round copper color and on the bottom are more Baroque style, a little bit lighter copper, they're really pretty colors. They're not sterling, but they're nicely done. And those I have at 14. The next one, oh goodness, um, I have, after, after I did the video and unboxed the jewelry, not knowing everything was real pearls, I didn't know what to price. So I did spend time researching pearls, and let me tell you, as most of you may know, there is so much to pearls, there's so much to know, there's so much about them. So it was a lot of reading and a lot of researching and a lot of learning. And what I learned was that, I don't know anything. <laughs> what I learned was that the smoother pearls can go for more. The more round that the pearls are, they can go for more. 
But then again, if you get those giant Baroque pearls, those go for a lot too. So I'm keeping everything into consideration when I'm pricing the, this bag that I hadn't priced before back here, the second half of our three pound bag. I'm keeping all that in mind and just know that I have spent some good amount of time researching pearls and coral. I'm not an expert. It would take many years to become that. I'm just a girl opening boxes of jewelry. So yeah, that's what I did. And I feel good about my research and I feel good about my prices. And also you're all really great about letting me know what you think. So that's how I did that. So one of the things I learned was that these beautiful, very smooth, very beautifully colored pearls on the the leather cord were a lot more than I had expected. They really do sell well. People love this tassel look. So I have this one on a light brown leather cord. And I again, I don't know what this little piece is, but it is knotted right after the pearls. They are a gorgeous pinky, um, pinkish, almost a light purple rose colored on them. They are, let's see, stationed here and here and here and here. And then they come down to this tassel and they have the four at the bottom. So this is really beautiful. I did price it wrong on the first video after I saw the prices of them. Um, I am pricing this one at 45. And from what I have seen, that's still a really fair price. So I hope you like this one. Let's see, it is... Oh, I used my millimeter measure to measure some of the pearls. So these are 10 millimeter pearls. They are very smooth, I have in my notes. And this is a 32 inch necklace. And I'm pricing it at 45. Now let me see, let me measure it again, because that doesn't sound like the right measurement. Um, yeah, it measures 32 inches. Yes, it does. So that's that one. Let me know if you like that light brown leather knotted tassel pearl necklace with no clasp. Really, it's the only one I have in this box, I think. I think. So that's that one. <clears throat> then this one is, um, let's see, it's seven and a half inches sitting at this size, this bracelet, with the very deep peacock color pearls, Baroque style, and again, they are real. And so it's seven and a half, but it can get larger and smaller because it adjusts right here. And yes, this I have large because these are larger Baroque pearls and they seem to get more money when they're bigger like this. So I had this priced at 15 and I'm gonna keep it there. And I think that's gonna go pretty quickly. So there you go on that one. Then I had this one. These are all hand knotted. They are, I'm not gonna say near round cause I learned about the roundness of them and near round means there's no bumps in them at all. So these have a little bit of natural created variation in them, but the colors are beautiful and they're all hand knotted in between. So I showed this one in the last video and it is 30 inches long. Let me measure it because my numbers, <laughs> it is 27 inches long and I had only $20 on the necklace. So I'm gonna keep it at that because that's what I said, so. That's that one, all real pearls, 27 inches, hand knotted over the head necklace, okay? Then I have this beautiful pink color pearl bracelet. It is excellent stretch. It's a breast cancer awareness and sterling silver charm on there. And I had this at $15 and it has a stamp on it, MWS, whatever that means, and also 925. So there's that one for just 15 for real pearls that are pink color. 
almost ready to get to the other box that has, I mean, the other bag that has all the ones I have not priced yet. This was so beautiful, is so beautiful. And I went over it on the other video, but I'll show it again quickly because it's so well made. It's really excellent, excellently executed. It's very well balanced. The pearls are terrific. So you see how there's a couple of larger ones here. It has these very pretty pinky copper color pearls here. And then these really Baroque style here. How are my lights doing today? It's all on sterling silver, by the way. So then you've got the white, that color again. It all matches exactly and hangs. Just look how it hangs. Perfectly balanced. That takes a lot of work to do. So there's no maker mark on it, but I have a feeling it's from someone that knew really what they were doing. I haven't fussed with it much and look how it lays. So this is a really beautiful sterling silver, real pearl necklace, 16 inches it looks like, and all sterling and vintage. And I had the price of 60 on it and I will take it down to 45. So I hope you love that, it is quite beautiful and all sterling in the chain and everything. There's that one. Next I have this piece. I don't know if I showed this on the last video. Um, I went through the whole video before I made this one so I could go and get all the prices that I had priced it for on the last video because I needed to know what my prices were. This is a sterling silver chain and a leather cord and it comes down to this lovely braided piece here and look at these two beautiful pearls there's no damage to them they're pretty big size let's see did i measure them no i have 18 inches is what it measures and 15 dollars is the price pretty good amount of sterling and just really beautiful pearls Let's see, they are a pretty good size, so let me use my little millimeter caliper thing that I don't like. Okay, I guess that's zeroed out, right? It just, I don't know, I think I'm just going to get one of those that you just close it down on the pearls or whatever you're measuring, and it doesn't have this digital display because it's really, I don't know, it's not been working well. But it does measure well. So this is a 10.6 millimeter pearl. And the other way, it's almost an 11 millimeter pearl. Let's see what this one measures. Sometimes you have to go one way because if they're sort of longer, and then you have to go the other way. So they're almost 11 millimeters. Okay, so that's that one. And it's just $15 for that. Okay. Next is this. It's not a stretch bracelet. It is hand knotted. Pretty large size pearls. Really pretty color. And it has all sterling. Nice heavy clasp. And a nice heavy sterling silver charm that says I am loved. This is... I wrote all sterling. It's a seven and a quarter size. And I priced it 45 and I'm taking it down to 25. So I hope you love that. If you want to know how big the pearls are for funsies, they are 10.2 that way. And I'm trying to get used to doing this 8.1 that way. I guess if I did it on the table, you know, that would probably be better. So that's the measurement of those. And the price is just 25 now. Pretty good size pearls, lots of sterling. And I gave you the size. Okay, so what's left? Well, there's a lot left, but... Okay, this is a set, a matching set, bracelet and necklace. The necklace, I priced at 25 and the bracelet I found later in the video of episode one and priced it at 15 
So this has a beautiful clasp, a box type clasp. And it did work perfectly. Let's see. Very gently. Okay, I just had to be easy with it. All right, so that's the clasp. I love that pearl on there. I don't think that's a real pearl, but all of these are. So again, some hand knotted. These hand knotted. Let me look with the loop, because if they're not, they're close together. No, it's not hand knotted. It is all Baroque. It's more of a champagne color pearl. And the back of the clasp looks like that. And it's exactly the same on the bracelet. Isn't that cute? So I love the clasps on there. And let's see, I'm sure I measured the bracelet, but I'll do it again because I don't have it written down. So the necklace measures 22 inches and my stepped on bracelet <laughs> measure measures seven and a half on the bracelet. So that is a definite set. I had them at 25 and 15, let's see. I will say, let's say both pieces for 25, okay? Real pearls, lovely clasp, matching set for 25. So that's that one. And the last but not least, I really was wondering if these were Mickey Moto earrings because they do look just like this, his pearls. And they are on a bit of a shorter um, post earring. I'm saying that because I found these in the box. And the post is a bit shorter than usual, not too short to wear. But I don't see an M on them. I do see a 925 on them. But it's sort of almost pushed into the pearls where the 925 is. So I don't know. But anyway, they test 925, they say 925. And look, I measured, they're 6.4 millimeter pearls. And they're pretty close to round and very lovely. And I said $12 on those, so that was a good price. So that's what's left of that first video. And now I'm gonna price what I didn't price on the first one because I had no idea and I had all kinds of research to do. So let's move this out of the way for now. And some of you may remember these earrings that I just thought were, ugh, they're so fantastic. They are, of course, all real pearls. I think they're called seed pearls. There's a crystal here and a crystal on the top. They're all sterling. Every little bit on them, all the chains are sterling, the wires, and I think they're vintage. I could not find anything like this. I put in seed pearls, I put in chandelier, nothing. I could get nothing like this. I did get others that were similar that had maybe one third of the pearls. Like maybe this was how it was on the earring like, and the hook was here. And those were 35 to $50 just for that size of an earring. And these have so many more pearls. So I'm trying to reason pricing them by the vintageness, the uniqueness, the type of pearls being really tiny. And I mean, the others that were so much less were 45. So I thought really fair to put a price for 65 on these. It's so many pearls, they're so old and so cool. And again, every bit of every metal is sterling, okay? So I was gonna keep those. They don't look the greatest on me. They're a little long for me. So I am gonna let them go and I price them at 65. So I hope you love those. I think they're one of a kind, really beautiful, special pair of earrings. So let me know on those. That's our first thing that I'm pricing. Next, we found this round pearl set. And as I went through the video, I figured out that the necklace and the bracelet are matching. These are really beautiful too. And I would say these are near round because they're much more round. They are beautiful pinkish. Um, I keep wanting to say pearly, but of course they're pearl colored. But they have a little bit of 
copper hue, a little bit of peach pink. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell the color of pearls, but I hope you can see pretty well. The only thing on the necklace is a really simple fix. You just need to have that little loop um, soldered together after they connect it here. Now, I would have just put it on there and crimp, crimped it with the little pliers, but I don't want to do that because I don't want someone to get the necklace to wear it and then have that little piece open up on you. So I'm going to leave it like that so you can see it, and you can just get your jeweler to put a little bit of solder right there, and it will be very safe. So that's what I've decided to do on this necklace. The bracelet exactly matches the same type of marking, same coloring, everything. So I know that they're a set. So that's exciting to have a set of pearls for a necklace and a bracelet. Now let me see what I wrote down. Vintage near round, I'll let the jeweler fix it. It's all sterling silver, um, 18 inch necklace and size seven on the bracelet. So that's your matching set. And I am asking 85 for this set. Again, when I researched, the roundness mattered, the matching set mattered, all of that was things to consider. So that's why on this set, vintage pearls, I'm saying 85, okay? So that's that one. I did, I spent a lot of time just watching videos and GIA experts and it was quite overwhelming. I had to kind of come away from it because there's so much to know about pearls. So I just did the best I could and I know that you will all let me know what you think. This is a single pearl on, I don't know if that's leather, it's either leather or cotton. I think it's leather. It's a beautiful single pearl knotted on each side. It is a black leather cord and this is eight dollars so if you wanted to just give someone a gift of one real pearl there you go or if you just wanted to wear one or wear it as a choker style it is very adjustable it is eight dollars okay i don't have it measured yet let me measure it 16 inches and then you've got a little bit of room left on the extender so 16 17 inches for just eight dollars okay so that's that one that i have now priced then we have these two necklaces that are just alike and i do have two people that have asked for these so i'm just going to show you on the video what i did and what happened with the coral and just let you know, you're welcome to email me just in case one person or the other does not decide to take them. But um, I do have two people, that's Lori and Ronnie, R-A-N-I, hi Ronnie and hi Lori, that have asked for these first. So just letting you know. Um, but you're welcome to email me because if they say they don't want them, then they are up for grabs. So these have a sterling silver clasp. The beads here, I tested them, and they are coming up sterling, but not terribly blue. So I think they might be a lesser silver. But you have real pearls all the way around with this beautiful red coral. Even though it's not a bright red color, it is called red coral. So that's this necklace. It has the beads in between, so you've got the pearl, the end caps, the coral, and then again and again all the way around. It's just so pretty. And I want to talk about coral a little bit because I had such a hard time researching this as well. I did not find one necklace that was true coral that was inexpensive. They were all way up there. So I really didn't know what to do with the necklaces. But I have to reason, we have real pearls and real coral. We have all silver, it's so beautiful. Let's see, it measures 20 inches. And I think a very fair price is 85. I saw them go for much more than that. Let me know what you think. 
It's beautiful. I think it'll last a lifetime. So that's that one. I'm not sure there's any difference between each one, but if you see a difference and you want one or the other, let me know. But they are both the same measurement, both the same testing of the beads. They're exactly the same. So that would be 85 for each one of these necklaces, okay? And you're welcome to go take a look around, price them yourself. I'd really love if you did that because it would help me to know that you feel good about the price as well. So that's those two. And let's see, I don't want to get confused about what I've done here. Okay. All right, let's see. You guys remember this one? If you're just tuning in, you're going to love seeing this one. So this was the first thing I pulled out of the three pound box. It is stunning. It's all crystals. Let me just show you like an overall view of it first. So you've got these big flowers, real pearls in the inside. And this, I don't even know what kind of shell that is, but it's all mother of pearl shells, real pearls and real glass crystals. And this is like a, a quartz, a real quartz shell. I'm so, sorry. It tested as real quartz stone. And look at the pearls inside. This one's nearly black with green on it. This is like a purpley color. So all the real pearls in the side of the flowers and then real pearls all the way around the torsade with these strikingly beautiful crystals. It's on this kind of a, um, a hook, a clasp, and it has all these areas to hook it at. I did not find it was marked anywhere. I have Google searched and I don't know who the maker is. Just don't know. Now, just for the materials alone, I'm sure that this necklace would go for a lot. It's, it's just beautiful. If you took it apart and only used all the pieces, you'd have to probably spend quite a bit on that. So I didn't know what to price it at, but I do want to remind you that it needs a little bit of stabilization, a little bit of work. Um, looks like someone maybe glued it here on the back, or that was the glue. But that's the back. It needs a little bit of work, a little bit of stabilizing. And yes, it's flower clusters, all pearls. It's really pretty. And let's see, I just, I had to come up with some kind of price, and I priced it at $60. So if someone would like that massive, gorgeous, lots of material, I priced it at 60. Let me know what you think. And if you're the first to email me, I will let you have it. Let's see, did I measure? I don't think I measured the length. Let me try to do that. It looks like it's 20 inches long. And then of course you can adjust it. So I am gonna gently Put this back in its bag, and I just hope someone wears that, enjoys it, gets loads of compliments, and can even just stabilize it, fix it a little. It's not that anything's going to fall off whatsoever. I just think it could use a little bit of fixing up. That's all. So that's that one. So I've been thinking about this for probably the whole week since I did the other video and working on the prices. Okay, this is the 105 inches of hand-knotted, beautiful color pearls. They are round and flat. So I did price these, and I think the craft pearls that are not hand-knotted, that are just on a string, they were about $35, $45, let me think. They were about $35 for 45 inches. So here I'm reasoning how I'm pricing this. But this is hand knotted. It's 105 inches. And I didn't think of this on the, the first time that I unboxed it. But there's no reason this can't be just tied together. And that's it. You have a necklace that 
completely goes around. So let me do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. Yeah, I'm inviting you to subscribe and like my channel. I hope you do. Thank you so much. You know, I thought about it more and if someone wants to put a clasp on here, I don't want to tie a big knot there and then they'll have to cut that. So I am going to leave that there. But if you get it and you don't need a clasp, just tie a knot there and you have a 105 inch beautiful necklace that you can wrap around and around <clears throat> and do so many things with it. And it's 105 inches, so it's quite beautiful. Um, with all the looking around I did in pricing, for 105 hand knotted at this color, I think 59 is a really, really good price. So let me know. And if you wanted me to tie that, just let me know. And I can do that. So that's the price on that one. Next, I think I totally forgot to show you this one. I think this was one of the pieces that I inserted in the middle of the video. Um, yeah, I don't want to confuse you all. So this is just a piece I forgot to show on the last video. And I'm going to show it now. So this is a brand new thing you haven't seen yet. And they are all Baroque pearls, hand knotted. It's so long that I'll have to undo this again. Peacock pearls. They have greens and purples and lots of beautiful colors in them. It really is long. I think it's 60 inches long. So let me see. Let me do it off the camera. Get it untangled because it was in that bag. Okay, here we go. So we have these Baroque peacock pearls. Look at the greens and the purples and just all the colors that you want a peacock pearl to be. And they are like a, a little bit oval shape. And did I measure them? Baroque peacock, seven to nine millimeters. I sure did. So seven millimeters that way, nine millimeters that way. So they're a pretty good size, and again, 60 inches long. So now I'm going to double it, triple it up a bit so you can see what it looks like on the buster. And you can get an idea of what you're going to look like when you wear it. So here they are. And by the way, the price on this 60-inch peacock pearl Baroque necklace, where's my price? this it? Oh my. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. So I saw others sell. I have my note right here. I saw others sell just like this for $183, and they were only 20 inches. And I saw another sell for nine and a half millimeter pearls, which is Pretty close, this is seven to nine millimeter. Tahitian South Sea Peacock Pearls with the greens and the blacks for 274. So they really went for a lot. I looked and looked and I didn't see anything for 60 inches. So 183 for a 20 inch, 274 for, I think that was a, 20 inch necklace too. Really hard to give a price because I don't want to overdo it, but I want to value the piece too. So I'm just going to say for 60 inches, I'll say 125. I think that's an excellent price. I hope you do too. And that you're just going to grab this up and love it forever. There's so much you can do with that at that length, you know. So there's no clasp on it. It is definitely real pearls, and they have every color. They're just beautiful. So I hope someone's really excited about that price of 125, 60 inches long. And yeah, that's all my research on that one. So I'll put 
put this back in the protective bag. Oh, the colors are so pretty. And it's okay if, if um, someone's not ready to buy pearls and commit to that. I can wear it for a while and just see how it goes. I won't mind wearing that for a little bit, but I think that's a really good price. I hope you do too. Okay, next, I did not price this one on the last video either because I knew they were roundish pearls and they had peacock pearls as well. And I also knew that the coloring was really pretty on this. They have a pink hue to them and they have the peacock pearls in between. So this, let's see, did this have a class? All real pearls, peacock 34 inches. So it's an over the head piece. And yes, yeah, so I guess you'd wear it long. So 34 inches with both color pearls and a fair price on this is 65. Because I found them for much, much more. So there you go, they're just beautiful. $65 on the 34 inch peacock pearl and real pearl necklace. Great coloring in that one. The other absolutely stunning coral piece has the barrel beads. That's called a barrel shape. So you've got the beautiful round pearls, real coral. It's called red coral. And I don't believe this is dyed because it's just that real coral color. But I'm not an expert. I don't see any evidence of dyeing. And last time I used Miss Prissy, these came up as little garnets. So... I can't say for sure since they're so tiny, but they really do look it. And I would think that'd be a really good choice for someone to put with this. So this also has all sterling silver, and it had this little bear. I never did find out what this meant, but this is all sterling findings, all hand knotted with the little garnets in between. And this is... Let's see, the coral was never cheap. It was so much money every time I looked it up. 18 to 20 inches on this necklace. And I have a price of 125. That's just what they go for. Well, they go for more, but... So do take a look around and see if you um, are interested because I want you to feel good about the price. But that's the price on this coral and sterling silver necklace. Look at the pearls. Aren't they so pretty? Really nice pearls on there, too. So that's that one. Then we have this bourbon and bow tie, right? Isn't that what that is? And it has these big blister pearls on it. And I priced these as well. This is a little over an eight for size. And a fair price on this is 18. They went for more, but I'm putting 18. Aren't those pretty? Blister pearls or big Baroque pearls. So that's that one. And you're probably going to be very surprised if you watched my other videos or the first episode because I was head over heels in love with this, and I still am. But I just I just have to make a living, and I just don't think I'll wear it enough to really, you know, I don't want to sell it, but it, I need to. I really need to. The pearls are exquisite. It's all sterling. I never saw this chiclet shape in any of my research. I just didn't. So I think it's very unique. Look at how the center of the coral is in the middle of the bead. It's just so... I mean, I went on about it in the first video, so I don't want to go on again, but I do want to show you it really well if you're seeing it for the first time. It's just absolutely beautiful chiclet-style necklace. Oh, my heart is just pounding at this necklace. It's so pretty. And again, I did not find this shape anywhere. If you do, let me know. I'd love to see other necklaces like this but I didn't find them. 
And I looked, and I've been at this... No, I haven't been at YouTube for years, but I've been at eBay for over 24 years. So I do know how to research. I did not find anything comparable. And they have matching earrings. Can you stand it? Look how adorable. The pearls are pretty round. The colors on all the pearls are really a very good match together. And I just can't even stand that coral <laughs> that's in that chiclet shape. Oh my gosh. But I am. I'm going to sell this set. I can't believe I'm going to do it. And where's my price? Okay, let's see. All right, I was going to price it at $189, and at the last minute I thought $170. So I'm going to price this at $170 for the matching set. Vintage coral, real pearls, sterling silver, matching earrings. I mean... I just think that's fantastic. I saw them go for two, three, four hundred. So I hope someone's so excited about this set and that you'll love it and treasure it forever. And if you ever don't want it again, could you email me and let me know because I will definitely buy it back from you. So that is that matching set of stunning coral and pearls for 170. Okay. I'll be so excited for whoever gets it. I'll feel really good when someone gets it. I won't feel as sad because I'll know someone else will be excited. So that's it. So this is our pricing for episode two. Maybe we'll bust it back there. And now I don't have to research and price and go back because I already did. I'm going to leave all this out because I need to make a thumbnail and talk to you about something else for a minute. Okay, so as for those rings and bracelets that I wanted to offer you, the first one is the one I was wearing on my pinky. And it is a nice wide band. It's got some rope design around the outside. It gets smaller towards the back, so it's comfortable to wear. It's very soft inside. It is marked 925 with the letters NF. I'm not sure what that means, but... And everything's been tested, so it's all sterling, just so you know. And the ring size on this is about a size. When you go with a wide band, you want to go up a little bit on your size. This is about a five and three quarters. So if you wear a five and a half, you might want to, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. It's too much to think about right now. But it's five and three quarters on this ring for the size. And I'll give you a weight for the sterling. It's exactly five grams. So I'm going to put my little note on there. Five grams sterling silver ring. What did I say? Size five and three quarters, right? Put my tab so I know everything is all set. Five and three quarter. And I'll say 25 on that really nice ring. This is a vintage sterling and marcasite ring. And this one is marked 925 inside. And the either the 9 or the 5 is a little bit loved off because it's been worn. It's really pretty. I love the design. It looks like a bypass, but it's not. It's sparkly. It's got that great vintage look. I think I usually wear that on this finger, so it's probably something about a size six. Ooh, actually, seven and a half. Okay. Size seven and a half. It weighs, oh, be still, 4.8 grams. Seven and a half is the size. And there is a couple of the stones missing. I mean, you really have to have a loop to find them. I think there's one missing there. And maybe one missing on this edge. It's kind of on the edges where, yeah, there's one there. And on this side, there's one missing on the edge there. So just so you'll be aware of it. But I never saw it when I was wearing it. You can't really see it. It's quite beautiful. 
This one actually has several missing and it's not, I don't, I never see it. I never notice it. But if you do, that's, I want you to know what's going on. So that's this ring. And let's see, I'll price this one at 30. So $30 for this one. So just let me know the timestamp and which ring you want. I put my price on it too. Okay, the next is another nice 925 ring. And I got this from Jen and I do love it. But it just, it's in between sizes for me. It doesn't quite fit on this finger, doesn't quite fit on this one. So I just keep not wearing it and I'd rather offer it to someone else because it is so pretty. So it's a filigree design. It's got like a concave design to it, so it fits nicely. It's Mark 925, Test 925. Oops. It weighs 3.6 grams. And the size is, see it's concave, so it's a little bit tricky on the size. See how it's leaning that way to fit you? So I'm going to say a seven and a half on the size. Okay, so we got this one, and I'll say, we'll do that one for 25. So I hope you love that I'm offering some of the rings. I've been meaning to for a while, so I'm happy to do that today. Now, my bracelets that I've been wearing forever, this is a big step, but I'm going to do it because I love things to be the same, but I don't want them to be the same for you on the video. So this is one of the bracelets I've been wearing. It's a Rolo bracelet, um, lovely, all sterling. It's marked, it's tested, Mark 925. And it's just so comfortable. You can put charms on it or you can stack it like I did and just have it look terrific. It's um, a little bit bigger than a seven and it weighs 8.8 .8 grams. 8.8 .8 in a size 7 plus. And for this bracelet, I'll say 45. I don't think it's going to wear out on you quickly. It's got some really good thick chains. It's just one that's going to last a long time. So I think 45 is really good and fair. I hope you do too. That's that bracelet. Goodbye bracelet. Uh -huh. Okay, this one I just got a couple days ago, and I do like it quite a lot, but because I'm going to be wearing these still for a little bit longer, I'm going to enjoy those. So it is also marked 925, tested, marked on the clasp, and it's got that beautiful dot, dot and dash design. There's four strands to it, great condition, weighs 7.2 grams. 7.2 grams, and measures seven and three quarters on the size. And let's see, is it adjustable? Probably, yeah, it's a little bit adjustable this way. So you could clip it a little bit smaller, and then it could be seven and a half. And what I like about it too is it has these extra links so you can have your jeweler slip one of these off make it smaller or wear it almost at a size 8 so I like the versatility of this one and how pretty it is too and I'm gonna say $40 on this bracelet and that was 7.29 grams on that one so I hope you love that dot and dash design really lays pretty on the wrist. The next one, oh, this just loved it, okay? I wore it here. It's just so stackable, so pretty. This one is marked 925. It's tested again, and it's also marked Pro Chain, like this PRO chain. So I think it's kind of vintage, and I think that's the designer of it. It's a double link charm bracelet or you can just wear it as it is. I really really enjoyed that very comfortable bracelet. 
5.1 grams of sterling and let's see what it measures a little over seven so you can see how the different bracelets they just really laid out for me really stacked nicely even though they're a little bit different sizes so a little bit over seven on this vintage double link charm bracelet and this one i will say 45 on this in great shape you can get a lot of charms on there this is really the classic charm bracelet but i like how it looked without any charms in fact, I have a lot of charms. I should offer those next, the next video, because I was going to put charms on these, but I just opted not to. So that's that bracelet. So I hope you like my little pack of sterling silver jewelry that I offered. And we'll get back to the pearl video. Thanks. So we usually enjoy me making a craft jar during the video. But as some of you know, I've had quite the week. We just got our hot water and heat turned on today. So it was a whole week that we didn't have it. So we've had a lot to go to do this week. So I am just, I am gonna offer you some craft jars, but they're ones that I had pre-made. So let me show you what I've got. Because a lot of you do ask for these. And um, I thought, let me show the craft jars on the video. So usually you'll see me fill the whole craft jar, but these were done ahead of time. Ooh, that looks marked. Let me see what that says. Ooh, that says ESJ 800. So there's a piece in there of 800 silver. That's exciting. So this is a craft jar. It is my usual, you know, putting all nice beads in there. You can have a look around and see what's in there. See if it looks interesting to you. And did I number them both? No. <laughs> I put number two on both of them. So this is how you're going to ask for the craft jar. Oh boy, am I getting myself in trouble here? So it's going to be, video will be three pounds, episode two, Pearl Extravaganza, probably again. And you're going to ask for craft jar number one. It's all craft. It's my usual size cup that I do on the video and let me get the the scale in case you need to know what it's going to weigh just so I still have something to offer you and lots of you ask for these anyway so I wanted to show them to you on the camera so craft jar number one is this the one yep that we saw the 800 silver in there boy I wonder what that is I totally missed that so that's fun and it weighs just under a pound, 15 ounces, 11. So it'll be a little over a pound with the box. And that is a terrible number one. So let me make it bigger. Craft jar number one. Okay, all craft. All craft number one, if you like how that one looks. This is craft jar number two. I think it's heavier. Let's take a look around at what's in there. We've got some orange beads some pretty pearls up there lots of earrings that's a pretty red stone up there extra chains to use that's a nice looking piece and that i don't know what that is maybe a brooch can't say because it was a while ago that i put these in there okay so that's craft jar number two it's all craft and you'll see in a minute why i'm stressing all craft Number two, and this one weighs, yeah, 18.48. So this is one pound, three ounces. I'm gonna put 1.3 ounces, so I know how heavy that one is. And this one, I'm gonna put one pound on it. So it's quite fun to get that much jewelry in these jars. These are plastic jars that are very sparkly. I do not put the tape over your jewelry. I put the paper there and then the tape. So I apologize that it looks a little ugly, but at least you're not gonna pull tape off and have it stick to your jewelry. Craft one and craft jar number two, and they are $20 a piece. So $20 for all craft jars. 
I mean, all the, all the pieces in it are craftable jewelry. Okay, then I have, I have these in my eBay store all the time, but I'm gonna show you guys some of them and cut the price down for you. So then I have these bigger jars. They're, they're bigger than these and they hold quite a lot of jewelry. They're chubby little jars. Again, they're plastic but they're good and strong and they're very sparkly, so they look like glass. And this is my wearable and craft. So this will have some craft jewelry and some wearable pieces. I usually put the craft on the bottom and the wearable on the top, but as you dig through and have a little treasure hunt, you'll see what's in there. So this is craft and wear, jar number one. Those look cool some kind of carved green leaf, and that's beautiful, that piece there. Craft and wear, jar number one. And these are 30, I'm gonna do them for just 30. They're usually 37 or so on eBay, but these are $30 for you guys today. So, and I think they're close to two pounds 20 ounces, so they're pretty substantial. Craft and wear, you get both of them. Jar number one. Okay, craft and wear jar number two. Again, I have the paper on the top so the tape doesn't stick to your pieces. And this is what this one looks like. Got some turquoise color beads. I put one of those rhinestone um, rings in there. It's hard to remember all that I put in there, but this is wear and craft. So some pieces you'll craft with and some pieces you'll be ready to wear. There's a nice little ring in there. Some more turquoise pieces. That looks like some crosses on that. So that's the next jar, jar number two, wear and craft, and these are $30. So this time you're gonna to have to remember the numbers, number two. And I'm gonna regret not putting names on these. I just have a feeling. Um, I hope I don't. Wear and craft, again, a mixture of both. Jar number three. And this is a peek at what is in here. There's some turquoise color beads, pretty orange stuff going on. I like that piece. So this is this jar, wear and craft, and that's what's in there. I have no idea what the watch is. I don't know anything about watches, but that's a pretty one. And again, $30. That's a nice brass color bracelet. Jar number three, wear and craft, $30. And this one is 21 ounces. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. So uh, over a pound, uh, like a pound, six ounces or something. Okay, now the next two jars are all wearable jewelry. So every bit in them is all wearable. So this is jar <laughs> number one. Oops, I almost showed you jar number two. Jar number one. And again, I have these on eBay. I have wear and craft jars. And I have all wearable jars all the time for sale over there. And these on eBay are like 36 and these are like 39 or something like that. But today I'm pricing them lower. So this is all wearable jewelry. There's some purple earrings there, some cat eye beads, some earrings there. Just giving you a peek at the different pieces that are in there. And I do try to put Everything that I put in here, I really try to look at it and make sure nothing's broken or wrong with it. Um, it's not a craft jar, it's a wearable jewelry jar. So that's that one, all wearable jar number one. And these are 35. Now this one weighs 21 ounces. So it'll be over a pound and that's all wearable, number one. 
um, all wearable number two. That's what, this is what this one looks like. Looks like you have some rose quartz in there. And I think that's a necklace right there. This necklace, I really love. That's a vintage piece, um, acrylic. It's just so cute. I just could never find anything to match my color bags with it. So I put it in the all wearable jewelry jar. So that's that one. I hope you love that one. It is jar number two, all wearable jewelry. Looks like I weighed it already, 24.72. Yes, it is. So this is almost 25 ounces. That's a pretty heavy one. It's got a big stone there. I'm trying to remember what that tested as. That's a pretty big stone. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed taking a peek at what's in the jars. When people order on eBay, they just, they get the jars that I send them. They don't get to take a look at them like you are. So I hope you're enjoying that. And again, the all wearable is just 35 for all those pieces. And you'll ask me for all wearable jar number two. So I'll set all those aside for you guys and see how that goes. And I think I'm done. I think I can go ahead and make my thumbnail and post the video and then have a great time chatting with you all in the comments. So I do hope that you leave me a comment. It's really supportive of the channel. It helps a lot. Whenever there's a like on the video or a comment, it tells YouTube that something great is going on over there and to keep showing that person's video. So I hope you'll do that for me. I appreciate it. And just one last time, this is how you purchase the jewelry. You'll email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Let me know the video name and episode number, the timestamps of when your jewelry shows, a brief description, and the price is given, okay? This way I won't have to go back through the whole video to look for what you're asking for. And it might sound a little mean that I'm saying that, and I don't ever want to sound mean, but it, when you have 30, 40 emails and people asking for lots of jewelry, it really could take me the whole day to go searching for pieces. So I have found that this system is so great. So I hope that you'll take a screenshot and that you'll follow the four pieces of information that I need so that I'll be able to answer you really quickly and it'll be such a really enjoyable communication and a purchase, okay? So thank you so much for that. I really hope on my next video that I can open all the friend mail. Thank you so much for your friend mail. Please forgive me for having these issues come up where I couldn't open it just yet. I do want to share it with everyone. So here we go with my goodbye. I'm going to be making my thumbnail, putting these pretty pieces out there. Let me know what you like in a thumbnail because they are the hardest things to make. You'd think you just put the jewelry down and take a picture, but it's really tough to make. So I'll get to work on that. I hope you'll subscribe and you'll give a like on the channel. You'll ring that bell. And we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Come on, let's hear it. We'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye, guys.